Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Joining me now is Patrick Knopf, a soybean farmer from uh, Sydney, Ohio, and he's vice chairman of the Ohio Soybean Council as well as chairman of Soy Transportation Coalition. And uh, Patrick, first, uh, once again, we want to thank the Ohio Soybean Council and yourself for our sponsorship here in, uh, in Ohio Country Today. And uh, let's talk first about uh, your background. Uh, you're a soybean farmer down in uh, Shelby County Way. Yes, uh, been there for a number of years. Actually, some of the farms have been originally deeded in 1832 from the federal government. And we're farming, you know, and we used to milk cows. So we don't milk cows anymore, we just grain farms. So, thanks. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about what your responsibility is here with the uh, Soybean Council. You know, one of the things that I think uh, our farmers would like to know, and of course our viewers, is that uh, it's just not uh, harvesting the beans and throwing them in the bin. There is a lot that has to happen after they're harvested. Yes, uh, your checkoff dollars are being invested uh, well. We're trying to look at infrastructure as a major, major uh, problem in this country right now, as well as finding new products that we can be, can be beans, soybeans can be used for. But the infrastructure is a major issue. Since about 60% of the beans in this country are exported, we need to make sure that we keep our roads, bridges, and rail uh, very competitive so that uh, we can be competitive in the world market. You know, when somebody uses uh, the term logistics, they always do uh, focus on transportation, mainly the trucking industry, but logistics for the farmer means a lot. And like you said, that percentage, over 60%, that has to be transported uh, outside the United States, there's a lot that's involved. So, again, detail-wise, you know, what, what does it take to, to turn that key and make sure that our product gets from point A to point B? Well, most of our beans go out of the port of New Orleans, and we need to be able to get down the Ohio and the Mississippi River with our uh, beans on the barges. And the locks and the dams, are most of them are over 50 years old. They've uh, outlived their usefulness. And we need to be looking at uh, updating them. So we're doing our best to educate our uh, government officials uh, to the importance of our river systems, uh, as well as looking at some new technologies on the bridge side. Uh, we don't like having bridges that are uh, marked uh, at a lower weight limit than what, we, what they can be hauling and causing uh, detours for our trucks as they do go, go to the markets. You know, isn't that interesting? You know, we talk about the different types of industry that's here in, in, in Ohio, for example, where we talk about the automotive industry and we talk about steel and, and all the other products that have to use that infrastructure. But we don't realize how important that infrastructure is to our Ohio farmer. Yes, we don't. Uh, every bean that, that moves from a farm has to move down a road system somehow or another, whether it's, you know, whether it's in a semi, a truck, or a tractor and a wagon. It doesn't make any difference, but it's something we have to work through to get to to look at and understand that importance of that. And the other part of that, too, is it has to move uh, on a timely fashion, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I mean, we need to be able to get to those markets when we need them. Those markets uh, are demanding those beans to, uh, to get there, and when that time comes, we have to be able to move them in a timely manner because uh, we don't have uh, <clears throat> that opportunity to, to uh, wait on those markets. So uh, basically what we're talking about as far as product and infrastructure is concerned is that those logistics, those uh, transportation uh, aspects of the product uh, is extremely important to our Ohio soybean farmers, but it's something that they have to keep in mind too when they're talking to their legislators of not just things like the farm bill or any kind of safety net, but they got to be able to get their product off their farm and into the hands of the people who are going to use it. Yes, uh, we always need to be educating and allowing those uh, government officials to understand that how important this is to us. And, it, and it's, it's for all grains, but especially the soybeans. When you're, when you're moving 60% of your, your product out of this country overseas, we need to be understanding how important to the competitive advantage for the United States farmer that we need, these, uh, we need good modes of transportation. Uh, Brazil's working very hard on their infrastructure, and if we don't continue to work hard on our infrastructure and improve it, we're going to see that competitive advantage uh, dissipate over time. So, and as a farmer, I don't want that to happen. I want to have, I want to be the best product going out there in the market and making sure that we we are the most competitive when it comes to our overseas markets. Yeah, as an Ohio farmer, as a an American farmer, because those overseas markets are getting more and more competitive, aren't they? Yes, they are. 
Well, once again, Patrick Knopf has been our guest from the Ohio Soybean Council and also vice chairman of the council, chairman of the Soy Transportation Coalition. Patrick, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And, of course, if you want a link to their site, you go check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. We'll be back with more right after this. For more information about today's show or to suggest a topic, visit us on the web in ohiocountry.com. That's in ohiocountry.com. This is Ken Koenig from the Koenig Care Minute, reminding you that if you need parts, services,